Welcome to SMB News, people. <laughs> like, share. <laughs> I'm on the street, baby. <laughs>
uh, it's Man City's league and every team is just living in it. Like, uh, <laughs> Whoa, okay. it's their league to lose. Uh, Arsenal is not a threat because they always fumble the bag at the end. Mm. Uh, so for me, it's always Man City. But it's my team. But I'm not really cheering for them because right now they're just too good. I'm just, I just do, just do you. I hope you have like a, a repeat in Champions League. That's the only goal for me. Okay, so you all three agreed uh, <clears throat> that's going to be Man City. I think you're going to say Arsenal. Of course, I'm going to say Arsenal. What, what you thinking? Oh. Arsenal, I know uh, we have an up and down. The last game with Arsenal with Chelsea, I was really of the performance. But, but uh, we all saw. Play about you. Yes. City. We all saw what happened to City when we, we faced them. <laughs> we beat their ass. So, therefore, if we go with that logic, that means there's a good chance that if we keep that same energy, there's a move on. Oh, it's mm-hmm. actually the opposite because you can't drop points ever in that league. Really? You cannot drop two you points can. ever in that league. Listen, guys. You I'm, tied Chelsea. That's a very bad result for you. I know, but I believe that Messi will lose certain games at some point. This, 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 the season is not over. It's just the beginning. And I think Arsenal could keep his momentum and, and to learn from that drop, keep winning the rest. But even with injuries, I don't know if they would lose this, this year. Like, they just... Like now, Alvarez is uh, like emerging as a no, oh, like a star better than Holland, in the team. Like he comes off the bench and he scores. Like the minutes he get, he gets on the field. So he just can't. I I don't see anybody like that. Right can now, he's the best player in the world. Right now, Ooh. Alvarez, Julian Alvarez, Julian Alvarez over Ellen Allen, over Allen right now. Do you agree with that? Yes. Do you agree with Alvarez being better than Allen? I don't. Thank you. What? Thank you. Better than Holland? No. Being better than Holland? No. No. If we're talking about the best player in the world right now, uh, it's Jude Bellingham. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bellingham no, in the, the in the prem. In the prem. Sorry. He's running. He's running Real Madrid. He has eight goals in what, like nine or ten games. Eight, nine, ten games. He's he's on the ball. He's dominant. He's big. He's strong. He's going to be the captain of that team one day. I don't know. But he in- seems like he's. He's the man. But in the Prem, who's the, who's the best player in the Prem right now for you? Oh, the best player in the Premier League? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, for you. Um, it would probably still be Holland. But overall, I think overall player, it's, it's Kevin De Bruyne. I'm a midfielder guy, though, so it's hard for me. Like, I appreciate midfielders a lot more than I do strikers. I do because I, play, I, I've, I always play the position, and I understand it, so... Those are the guys that I watch more. I focus more, you know? Okay. In. All right. Next question. Um, how can, well, back in the day, it wasn't all about Man City, right? Back mm-hmm. in the day, I think Man City now has been years, <clears throat> I would say. A bit more. No, more. Five. 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 Okay. Five. Uh, but uh, there's two teams that we keep forgetting. Oh, we don't talk about it anymore. Chelsea and Man, U- Man United. <laughs> so, my question no, we, is... We still talk about Man U. Just in a bad way. Just in a really bad way. <laughs> so, my question is, um, uh, how can Chelsea and Man United go back to the top five? I will start with <clears throat> the Uh For me, the, the way to like get back to being top five is it's, it's for the team to realize that they're not it. Like They're not like a top contender every year. They, they must stop like trying to buy um their team like buying players to get the team to be good like you just know right now you're like a middle of the pack team but this team they don't accept that they like we like the it's like in the NCAA football or basketball they're blue bloods of uh, premier league so they act like they're like the like the kings so kings of the premier league they don't accept that they're just like so 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 for me the first thing they need to do is just accept that they're not Man City, they can compete with them. They're just trying to be to have a spot for Europa League, not even Champions League. So yeah, Europa League. So they have like to build every year, like like for the next like three years, they have to build a team. Let they have to build a team for next three years, not this year, next next year. They have to build a team for in three years. They have like to grow together, build the chemistry, but not trying to do it, do it like in one shot. That's the only thing for for me. Uh, 
uh, he's right. Uh, you have to stop changing coaches every two months. <clears throat> have to stop thinking that you buy a player for a hundred million dollars on the wing and he's gonna change your whole team <clears throat> so man united and chelsea for right now really mudded i don't see them cracking the top six time soon uh i agree i think uh when i when i look at chelsea i just see them as a bunch of just guys like they don't they don't seem like a team to me they have a lot of quality they have good players in that team they do spend a lot of money um i don't think you know i don't see them challenging this season like i just i can't see it united on the other hand um same thing like you buy you buy these superstars they have a manager who just wants to throw all the superstars on the pitch and see what happens i i, I see no there's no identity with that team there's no ideas there's no creativity it's just it's the same thing game in game out i i can't i hate both these teams though i can't stand them <laughs> I, I can honestly see united finishing seventh or eighth in yeah. the league this year maybe if they do well in a cup they they, they qualify for your own league if they make i think it's the fa cup or maybe it's the carabao either way like winning one of those will put you into europe but champions league no chance for either uh, team this year is, is man, man united in um Europa League right now? No. No, not even shit. Okay. I think yeah. Europa, yeah, I think Europa League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Man United usually when they bad like in Premier League, they they try to win the Europa League so they can keep staying in the Champions League. So I could see them like being good in Europa League and win it just to be in the Champions League next year, but they're still a bad team. Yeah. Very very bad team all around. Very bad. Uh yeah, to be honest, I did my research and I <laughs> I couldn't find any answer to, <laughs> exactly to know how they could come back to I the think, top five. I but, think if you have to rely on somebody like Scott McTominay, who is a horrible, <laughs> horrible player, to win you a game in the ninety sixth minute or something, like the team is in the mud, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tough. When he's your best striker, when he's your best goal scorer, it's it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, it's tough, bro. So uh, I just want to take that time to tell you guys that my Eagles are winning ten to three against the Miami. Take Dolphins. a chill, take a chill pill. No, nice. no, I'm, I'm taking a chill pill. I'm just want to let you know. Okay. Okay. And I didn't scream when he scored a touchdown. I am trying to oh, stay calm. <laughs> it was a Titan touchdown. That's a given number of Okay, I saw something. Titan day, okay. Titan day, okay. So yeah. Anyway, uh, next question: Which team right now is the most underrated in Champion League? Um, Matt, go first. <clears throat> sure. Uh, for me, it was tough for me because uh, every year when I go into the Champions League, I just pick Real Madrid because it's by default. Like it's Real Madrid. Are they the kings champion. of the Champions League? They always do well in that tournament. Underrated though, I think it's Barcelona this year. Uh, they added Ilkay Gundogan, who is obviously super experienced. He won the Champions League last year with City. Uh, he's done it before. He's he's a great player. And now they have obviously uh, João Felix up front with Lewandowski. So yeah. I don't know more creativity there. The other thing uh, that Barcelona does is they take players from their from their and they develop them beautifully. Like they have this kid Lamin Yamal, sixteen years old, scoring goals. He came on against my Tottenham and destroyed us in preseason, <laughs> scored a goal. Like, three three seconds into coming into the game, he scored a goal. Uh, also, a seventeen year old today scored a goal with his first touch. Mark uh, Guyu. Uh, scored with his first touch as a professional footballer to win the game for Barcelona. Like they develop players really well. I think they have a good squad in the Champions League. I think they can surprise. They can surprise people. Okay, I'm gonna go next. Uh, I'm saying Crystal Palace. Yeah, Crystal Palace huh? are not in the Just Champions newsca- League. Newscastle, Newcastle. Sorry, Newcastle. 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 Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Newcastle. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. I made a mistake. Newcastle, uh, because of the uh, the bracket that they're in right now. I think they're the top team, and they're. I said it. Oh my god! I said it. Oh my god! I said it. I said it. No, I know you're looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh no wait! Liverpool forgot against who they're playing. Dortmund, Milan, and PSG. Yes, and let me tell you something. I've been watching AC Milan play. I've been watching PSG, PSG playing, 
and they're both choking right now. Yes or no? Yes or no? That's that's it. It's a yes. They're well, both. not Milan. PSG, PSG always chokes, bro. Always. Not Milan. Milan, do? I don't like Milan. The last two years, they did not choke. We went to the semifinals. They choked. We still went to the <laughs> semifinals. I don't care right now. This year, this year, I don't care. I feel like Newcastle is gonna take over this uh, this uh, so group, and yeah. And I'm saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying, guys. Bet on, bend on them. They have one win, one draw, if I'm exactly. And uh, yeah. PSG have one win, one loss. And AC Milan has two, two <clears throat> loss and uh, two draw. Sorry, two draw. Thank you. So the they're... win's coming. They're... Okay, we'll see. What I will say, what I will say about about Newcastle is that stadium is different in the Champions League. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's, it's lit. Like we saw it in the game against PSG. Every tackle they made, it was like celebrating and the fans were going crazy like it's hard to play in that stadium very very hard i'm saying is that newcastle is my uh is my choice the most underrated Fenty. so what i'm we the question was what's the best underrated team yeah. in the champions league it can't be in a top two league top three league or say napoli you can't no i, I can't say napoli because they're in italy i can't say I can say a Prem team because in the Prem, I can't say uh, um, uh, La Liga team. But they're all in the Champions League. Yeah. Though. I mean, yes, but they're still the like considered the best of the Champions League. Okay. Yeah. That's you. So, so it's a long shot then. Yeah. yeah. It's a big <laughs> underrated long, team. Yeah, long. Underrated team is the long shot. Okay. My long shot, they looked good. They did, didn't look really bad. Lens. No. Nah. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Lens, Galatasaray, no. and and uh, Real Sociedad. No, it, Sociedad's win. Sociedad's leading their group. Okay, Galatasaray no, has a very good a team. Good Galatasaray yeah. is a very good team with Mertens, Icardi. I forget all the other ones, but they have a very good Zaha. team. Galata- Zaha. That's an underrated team. They're gonna pass because men, men, you go, men, you ain't going to do it. No, they, shit. They, yeah. So that's why they're gonna pass. But I don't think they're gonna do something in the next round. Galatasaray is my underrated team. Matt, do you agree with uh, Spenty's statement? With Galatasaray specifically? Yes. Yes. Uh, no. I mean, <laughs> I don't think they have any chance of winning. If we're asking. Who's gonna like? Who is the sleeper team? Let's say to yes. win the Champions yeah. League. Yeah, exactly. You then said absolutely, then absolutely and not. Got no not shot. winning the Champions you League. But underrated. that's another team that's okay, a very un- difficult stadium so, to go to. So it's well. a good shoot, but we said underrated is plenty. But like, let's be you'll honest. have a chance. Okay, have I'm, a chance. I'm gonna go with my team then. Who? AC Milan. They're not gonna. Okay, Matt. Do you think AC Milan's gonna win this one? Mm-hmm. With two draw right now. With two draw right now. They definitely have a better chance than Galatasaray. Thank you. They might not pass. They, they, might not pass. <laughs> they won't pass against Newcastle. Yeah, that's oh. sorry. We'll pass. Oh. oh, that's a different That's a different conversation. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I might not get out of this group at all. Uh, group. Okay, I'll go for mine. Mine is uh, RB Leipzig. Um, I, I really like this team this year. Uh, I feel like every year they all always in the same group as Man City and like... They, it's yeah, they always super. They they give a good true. contest to Lebz uh, to to Man City. Maybe that's why. Like I always look at this team, but for some reason, even in the Bundesliga, they can be first, but they all every team always choke to Bayern at the end. Uh, but I think that's a team that can make surprises in um go all the way. I don't think they're winning, but I I think they get upset like a good team. That's a good shout. I like that. All right. Next question. <laughs> uh, can an Italian team win the Champions League? Yes, 100%. Inter Milan could win a Champions League this year. Are you sure about that? Uh, yes. Are you sure about that? Finalists last year, they lost 1-0 against uh, City. City, yeah. I don't see why they can't repeat it. Matt, do you agree? Do you think uh, uh, an Italian uh, team can win this uh, this year? I agree with Spanti on the... Like, in the sense of if there's one team that can do it, it's probably Inter Milan. I just don't think. Um, I think there'll be game changers in the other leagues. Like, the Real Madrid have players that, that, that can change a game on its head in one set. Like, we all know what these players can do in these other leagues. If we're relying on maybe Inter Milan to win the Champions League for Italy, okay. But 
there's no other there's no other Italian club that's gonna do it. Uh, for me, it's a big no. Um, <laughs> wow. Me, me, and with the Italians, I don't trust them. Like they, <laughs> they play a style like just to survive. They, don't, they don't try to win the games. Uh, when you play with teams that have superior quality than you, like you have to, like you have to throw some like a wrinkle to the game. You have to throw a punch. Don't just wait for them to score it. Then you're dead in the game. So like even last year, like they played better than Man City, but Man City still won the game with like win one shot. So me, uh, Italian teams, I always fade them every t- every chance I get. Uh, there's always one that we play better than the others, but at the end, like the Italian teams, I just don't trust them. Uh, no, no, I have to say I'm sorry. Uh, uh, this year, I didn't, I didn't see anything special about them. Uh, and I will take my answer to go on to the next question, which. Uh, league this year went to the final. So I said Italian league, so Serie A. Is it going to be a pre- Premier League? Is it going to be a uh, Bundesliga? I don't, it's just a question. I'm yeah, just, I just go for like yeah, yeah. So I want to know uh, which league you think is going to get to the finals this year. Okay. Penti, go first. Depending on the draws and uh, the brackets and all the, the this particular stuff that the, U, uh, the, the FIFA does, we'll see what happens. But technically, we should have a Madrid City final. This year, yeah, technically not again. Against... <coughs> you got to, um, no, not school. again. Yeah. Not again. Yeah, sorry, it was against Inter. The semi final is on Semi final, but it was. But that's the game we want to see. Like yeah, that was the final. <laughs> that was the final. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the game we want to see. <laughs> yeah. uh, Everybody wants to see that, and those are the two leagues that are supposed to be in the final. Yeah. Supposed to, but we never know with the draws and all that stuff. Never know. Winter break. Winter. Uh, the window's gonna open. We'll we'll see what happens. Maybe Bayern will do something. We always hope. Bayern's another choke. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's probably a Premier League team. Okay. To City versus maybe. Madrid, yeah, probably Madrid. Probably Madrid. Madrid. Matt, you? Uh, I agree. I think it's probably realistically, if we're looking at it right now, it's Madrid, City, but. Again, it's for me the biggest thing is injuries. Like injuries are huge, man. Like if injuries can happen at any time to huge players, and it can throw everything on its head. So you really never know. But if I'm gonna predict who's gonna be in the final today, yeah, it's Madrid versus Man City for sure. Well, you guys do. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I feel like you guys are saying the same thing. So I'm, I'm gonna go with you said Premier and La Liga. All right, now we're going to go into the prediction for the, uh, for, Champions the League. Champions League, for the games coming in Champions League. Thank you. Our first game that we put was Sevilla versus Arsenal. Guys, come on, guys. You already know Arsenal all the way. I'm expecting, I'm expecting 2-1 on that game. Matt? Um, I disagree. I you. think uh, Sevilla are a very... First of all, the game is in Sevilla. So that's that's a tough place to play. I always I always I take note of where these games happen because these stadiums they get crazy during these European games, especially. So Sevilla for sure, uh, <laughs> not not necessarily for the win. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. Um. Uh. No, not for the win. I think it's going to be a really scrappy game. I think nil nil one one like tricky game. It could be a draw. It could Sevilla could even scrap out a game. They're Europa League king, uh, kings. Keep in mind. So. I know it's this is the Champions League now. This is the big boys, but mm-hmm. I, I see a really scrappy game. I see like no, no, one, one. We'll see though. Ramos is there now. Ramos is uh, shut down, and he could yeah. particularly score a ninety-second minute header to win the game. So you never know. Fact. I do see Sevilla maybe winning this at home against Arsenal. Uh, for me, I'll go with uh, I'll go with Arsenal like three one. This year, I don't really like um the defensive. Uh, I don't like the defense of Sevilla this year. They're usually a, a Europa League team, so I I see them like getting bounced out and go to the Europa League and just go to the final. That's what they always do. Um, so for me, Arsenal is the better team. The, like this week, Sevilla played um Real Madrid. They had a draw. I think it was like their huge game, and now they have to like switch to uh Champions League. I really think that um, Arsenal, after losing to Lens, did they lose to Lens? 
Yeah, yeah. After losing to yeah, Lens, yeah. yeah. After losing to Lens, I don't think they want to lose another lose game. again. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, they will. So I, I think Arsenal will win like by two goals. Okay, underdogs. By Nick- the way, underrated team. Sevilla. Lens. Lens. Oh, come on. <laughs> Chill, Lens. <laughs> uh, next team, Ed, Inter Milan versus Salzburg. Uh, Matt, you go first. Uh, again, sorry, Matt. Uh, Matt, sorry to cut you off, but I just want to take yep. the time for everyone who's watching the game right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eagles versus Miami. I just want to say it's 16-3. What's up now, fellas? What's nice. up now? Later. Oh, yeah, you over there, I'm over there. I'm a Packers fan, bro. It's tough this year. Oh, it's oh, really tough fine, for you guys. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you guys, had, you had a bad loss today. Mm. Like, yeah, I didn't mention it. I guess it broke away. Okay. Okay. Uh, Inter versus Salzburg, is that it? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm taking Inter Milan. It's not much to say, bro. Like, it's, I, I looked at Salzburg's squad in researching for this, uh, for this episode, and I, I knew maybe two players, so... I'm going to go Inter Milan just off my gut because why not? Okay. Uh, Mizu God. Uh, Salzburg is a team that, like, they can play, but usually they don't defend well. And if you can defend against Inter Milan, like, you, you, you ain't got no shot. So Inter Milan is going to win this game. Inter Milan don't concede goals. And I don't see them conceding against Salzburg. I see Inter Milan winning this game. Home or away. Uh, likewise, I'm saying. I mean, honestly. Not... E. <laughs> three. <laughs> three one or three zero. Sorry, Matt. I was putting my I was putting my cap under my face with the eagles on it. <laughs> oh. So yeah. Fly um, eagles. Yes. So next team PSG versus Milan. Um, Spenty, you go first. The revenge game. Donnarumma coming back to the San Siro or vice versa. It doesn't really matter. Donnarumma playing against Milan. Uh, I think Milan won that win. Uh, they don't like Donnarumma for what he did. He left for money. Uh, he's not playing that great in PSG. He's making nice saves, but uh, nothing more. They don't really li- like him, love him over there. So uh, I hope Milan wins. I oh. want Milan to oh. win. Oh. 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 And this is underrated. Look. 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 No, 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 this no. is gonna be my Newcastle. Our, our first two, <laughs> our first two games, we could have easily won if we would have been able to finish. Pokers. No, don't worry about it. I'm worried. The, ch- the chances are there. <laughs> We're gonna score one day. Don't okay. worry. <laughs> All right. That's not hopeful. Like, um, go ahead. Me, I'm going with PSG. Uh. I don't trust this team, but I don't trust uh, Milan either. Like, it could be a draw, uh, but Milan just doesn't score enough goals uh, at the moment. So I I go with PSG. I think Mbappe, if he wants, like he can win the, he can win a game by himself. And I don't think he wants to get out uh, before going to the knockout stage. So I think Newcastle and and PSG are the two teams that are going to advance. So this game is like a key game for PSG. I'm going to go next. Uh, I'm feeling a draw because both teams right now are choker. Uh, both teams have difficulty to score sometimes. Both teams are not performing, performing well. So I'm going to go with a draw. But if I have to choose one of them, PSG over Milan. <clears throat> because Milan, again, they don't finish. Matt? Uh, this one's tough, too. Uh, can you guys hear me? Sorry. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I cut out. Okay. Um, PSG Milan. I can easily well PS, PSG played poorly against Newcastle. Again, I'm gonna say it again. That stadium, they went to that stadium, they got bossed around that whole field. Like it was it was embarrassing. Um, but that being said, I could see them having a bounce back for sure. And I agree with I can't remember who it was that spoke before you, Laurent, but um Mbappe wants to prove himself in this tournament, he wants to win this tournament. Uh, he wants to carry his team, and he's going to have to carry his team because After there's not many other... Well, there are talented players on that team, but he's he's the man. He's the guy that needs to carry them against big, big teams like like uh, AC Milan. So I can see PSG, PSG winning. And it's, they're at home too, so I can see them pulling it off. Okay, and last game, Newcastle versus Dortmund. Uh, Matt, you go first. Uh, I'm riding Newcastle this game. They're at home. 
it's a tough Good stadium. Choice. The game, the game versus PSG was like, like I said before, it was one of the craziest. It was one of the craziest atmospheres that I've ever seen for a Champions League game. So, uh, I'm going Newcastle for the win on this one. Is all good? Uh, I'm going for a draw. Uh, I feel like after beating PSG, it was like their like uh, like the this was like the party game. And now, cause Newcastle is just trying to they they play in defense like with, with the way they don't attack much. They they keep the ball like in front of them. And but I don't know why against PSG like they just they just killed them. But I really think they they're not gonna attack very much versus uh, Dortmund, and they just try to win a point and so i go for for the draw uh uh newcastle for sure <laughs> newcastle for sure i think they're on uh down and down the run right now i feel like i'm feeling the energy they're playing well they're making a lot of mistakes they have a defense they're, they're doing they're doing really good so i have to say newcastle dortmund always gets one game Ooh. always gets one big win and i need them to get this, <laughs> get this big win against Newcastle to help Milan advance. No, so I'm going Dortmund. All right, all right. By by heart, I'm going. Yeah, not, not, heart. By, not by head. Yeah, by no. heart. Pray, pray, pray. When this game happens. So last question for the uh, uh, soccer uh, section. Um, so I was watching a, a show. I forgot the one. What with Thierry Henry and. Uh, I was uh, that's uh, CBS, I think. Yes, CBS. Thank you. Oh. And they had a little section at some point uh, when they were saying that they don't have any more superstars that always make an impact on the game, like is Dan or Messi, young Messi, young Cristiano Ronaldo, young Thierry Henry. That you know, every game gonna have an assist or something that's gonna score a goal, right? Mm. My question to you, the soccer fan, the soccer professional. Do you agree with that statement or not? Twenty go first. I semi agree with that statement. He's right. There is not a lot of superstars. There is a lot of good players, but not a lot of good super. We have. I mean, Allen is a ghost when it's a big game, so I I don't count Allen in mm. the big games. I count KDB. I count Mbappe. Jude is popping up right now. Those, those are the superstars right now. <laughs> like, there's no Ronaldinho, there's no Kaká, there's no Roberto Carlos, there's, no, there's none of that. Ge that generation is done. That was prime, was... prime time soccer. The 90s to the early 2000s was prime <clears throat> soccer. What? Uh, I just think, like, there's way more better players now than there was before. Like, before there was players that was, there were superstars and there was, like, regular players. Now you get like very good players like in every team, so it's really it's harder to like get like separate yourself from the other players. But I for after like Messi and um uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, I don't I don't know if it's because like they dominated so long. It's like nobody's doing anything. Like even if a player is doing good, you won't notice them because we They're compare them to the others. And Messi and Ronaldo played like for so long, like you just want you won't see what other players are doing until they tell you, oh, he, he scored like is like is one thousand goal like in I don't know how many match. So I think there's players, but you just don't notice them. Matt, um, I completely agree with what was just said. Um, that was going to be my my argument. Really, it's just. Um, Ronaldo and, and Messi, they did it for so long at such a high level that we expect players to just be at that type of standard. And honestly, I don't think we're ever, ever going to see, at least in our lifetimes, another player like both of those guys. Um, but that being said, players like Bellingham and, and, and Vinicius Jr. and Neymar at a time, Unfortunately, his his career has gone down the drain. But <laughs> there, there there are no there are no, what I'm trying to say is there are no shortage of good young talented players in the world. Even at my club, Destiny Udogi, future best left back in the world. I'm saying it now. Watch out for him. He's good. Um, but there's generally there's no shortage of great players in the world. But superstars until Ronaldo and Messi are gone, I don't, there's nobody else. There's there's no superstar. Like that. Yeah, uh, when I was looking through a list of great players on the internet, most of the great players are from our time. 
all of them. Like it's crazy. So I have to agree with all you guys. I feel like yeah, they're good players, but there's no good stories that will make back so i think they were right that they also got... you have to be able to do the wow play like the plays that you everyone have to like, score a hat trick damn yeah and like final. right now you don't see like a lot of players doing that or just or they score goals which it looks like too simple the way the like this the fit the scheme just make him score his goal like alan everyone will see just taps taps the ball in the net like doesn't do anything really um dig no one that, dig exactly no one. you don't see him, uh, exactly you don't see like something like very like special or maybe we we've seen it all already so no one would be like ah I never that's, saw that. that was my point that i wanted to make like there's players that back in the day that i used to watch like Ronaldinho and and uh, cristiano ronaldo when he was at man united like they used to bring me joy watching yeah. them play like it used to make me want to get up go outside go to the field and try to do the things like they were doing on the field you know what i mean yeah. like nobody there aren't players anymore that do that, like yeah. that bring that like joy out of me. Maybe like one or two, you know, Kevin De Bruyne when he plays one of those crazy passes, I'm like, oh my god, you know. But I don't see anything, you know, that completely makes me like, you know. Yeah, I, I get you. Nothing makes my brain explode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and like the the last player who made me like really like being amazed in the last three years was Benzema, and Benzema is an old player, not a young superstar. Oh, exactly. He's a, he's yeah, these guys are all from our from our time. Exactly. Yeah. So like, I got a play in mind. Like I always end up watching this this play on YouTube. It's that Roberto Carlos free kick. Like oh you won't you won't oh see that. God. You know what free kick I'm talking about. Like, everyone knows it. Of like, course. So yeah. these type of plays you don't see them anymore. So for for some like the for us now to find like a new superstar, you have to see like people doing new innovative stuff like that. You've been like, damn, not anybody can do this. Yeah, change the game. Yeah, exactly. Change the game. That's what it is. Yeah. But the game has changed so much. It's become so so robotic, so much the same thing. You you don't have access here. Recycle the ball. You, you yeah. go back. Everybody is so good now. Everybody is so good. That you won't you will see some, but you you won't see it as much ever again. Yeah. So that was the last question of the seg segment. Uh, Matt, I want to thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank Perfect. you for your knowledge. Thank you. You can see that clearly. Thank you guys. Clearly, you have a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Clearly, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> we hope to have you have you again. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank oh. you for having me. Oh, for sure, we're gonna have you, and for sure, we're gonna have you again. More the, the 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 closer we get to the final, the Champions League and Premier League, the more we talk about. The it. more we talk about, so the more we're gonna invite you. So get ready. Then maybe next time you could come in person. Yeah. And. But, uh, yeah, no problem. Man. Yeah, and so thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. All right. And have Thank a, you, guys. And have a great night. Take care. You, you too. soon. You soon.